Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back in the kitchen because I wanna show you what's in my fridge. I've been getting a lot of requests for that lately and that makes sense, right? We're normally at the grocery store telling you what to avoid, what to buy and why, but what exactly is in my fridge? Do I practice what I preach? And to be fair and honest, this fridge is like it was all week long. I didn't stock it up with healthy things. I didn't you know, front load it with Bobby approved items just to make it look like I buy the right stuff. Everything in there is what we always have, plus a few extra goodies because one of the perks of my job is that brand sent me a lot of really cool items. And you'll see some of the products in there. Before we open the old refrigerador, like, subscribe, share, all those good things. Most important, there's a bell icon right below the video. You want to enable all notifications because we have three to four videos going live every week and you want to get that push on your phone as soon as we go live and the Flav City Shopping Experience podcast is on its 7th, 8th, ninth episode. All the platforms are down below. Art and I walk around the grocery store and have a good old time doing our thing on a podcast uh, format. All right, let's go to my fridge and see what's going on. And in full disclosure, yes? I did not cram the fridge full of art approved items either. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> never happened. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on in the fridge. Come on in here. Where to start? There's so much stuff in here right now. On the top shelf. Obviously, I'm going to have pasture-raised eggs. And right now, uh, the Vital Farms organic eggs are on sale. I'm kind of finding you guys, even though I like to experiment with all different kinds of pasture-raised eggs, the Vital Farm egg yolks are the most orange, beautiful ones around. So I tend to stick with them, especially when they're on sale. I just keep wanting to tell you that when you're getting the pasture-raised eggs, keep in mind all pasture-raised eggs get a supplemental feed of grain. So it's very important to buy either organic pasture-raised or non-GMO. Otherwise, they have the supplemental feed of Monsanto corn and soy. Ah, we don't want that, right? So obviously, I stocked up with three a uh, dozen here because we go through a lot of eggs around here. Also on the top shelf, we have coconut cream and coconut milk. These are the two best uh, varieties out here, Thrive Market and Trader Joe's, because they're the only ones who don't add emulsifiers. We see the ingredients here, organic coconut milk and water, and this is organic coconut extract, which is coconut uh, meat and water. Don't worry about storing in the cans. I go through them so quickly. And the Trader Joe's cans are lined with a white lining like that. So they're pretty safe. But I go through that in a matter of a few days, if not a week. Um, best deal ever on almond butter is on the Costco... Uh, Almond butter, right? This I think is $12.99. I have to check. I just wish our Costco had the organic ones, but you guys in LA and California, be happy you live there because you always have the organic one. It's not the biggest deal. I mean, almonds are not a dirty dozen uh, fruit or vegetable, but I prefer to get them because the trees around the base are sprayed very heavily. And I believe some of that leaches in. That being said, best price ever is at Costco. I like to keep this tucked in the back of the fridge, Art. This is... Um, brown rice miso. It's not made from soybeans. And this is nice if you're making miso soup, or I call this an umame bomb. If you're making a soup or a stew or a braise, if you just put a little teaspoon of this, it adds the same kind of flavor soy sauce would add. It's just really rich and fermented and umame-ish, and umame is literally de defined in Japanese as deliciousness. Um, here's something that was sent to me by a brand, Siete. They make the only, check this out, Art, paleo grain-free tortillas I know. They're expensive. An eight, eight pack is normally $8. I'm finding cashew flour is the best in terms of pliability. It's just like a flour tortilla. Look at the ingredients here, you guys. Cashew flour, arrowroot, water, ACV, sea salt, a little bit of guar gum, a little bit of konjac. You know what? Konjac is cool because it's not only a... Um, almost like a very flexible binder. It's a prebiotic fiber, so good for your gut. Um, cassava is pretty good too. This is a little wimpy, but I love the flavor profile of this, which is really great. So I love those. I think next week, or by the time this video comes out, I will already have the recipe for my ultimate uh, shrimp tacos, and I'm gonna use that. My smart, my smart refrigerator is telling me the doors are open. If it were so smart, Art, wouldn't you know we're filming a YouTube video right now? Hello. Uh, so also on the top here is Rose's breast milk later on and uh, breast milk soap for Rose, right? Breast milk exclusively fed. That's why her cheeks are so chubby and beautiful, right? So let's move on. You know, I'm going to close the door for a minute so the smart fridge can reset and then we'll go on to the next uh, level here. All right. You might be wondering why I have so much fermented organic cabbage in here. 
It's because we stock up on this stuff at Costco. It's so good for your probiotic gut bacteria. First of all, it's raw, organic, and this is the kind of sauerkraut that doesn't have any vinegar. So it's a natural fermentation, so good for your healthy gut flora. You can't cook it though, you gotta eat it raw. You can dress it with a little bit of dressing. What I actually did the other week was pour a little bit of this Primal Kitchen barbecue ranch over the top here. And I made a little salad as a side for what I was eating. Delicious. Uh, I also have the Kirkland organic peanut butter. It's nice to get organic peanuts because they're legumes that grow underground. The price is unbelievable, right? Oh, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, Flav City, which you should, Sir Kensington, they must be listening to our videos because Art, we've made, I don't know, two or three videos at Costco calling out, remember them, Sir Kensington from Essex, England, it's talking about, hey, you guys have best in class ingredients. It's always made with avocado oil and egg yolks and really good ingredients, but they always put sugar in here. And lo and behold, last week I went there, the sugar is gone. Now, the ego in me says, it was me, I did it, they listened to me. I don't know, either way, it's $9 for a 32 ounce jar in a glass. It's not in plastic, like Hellman's, best deal ever. Look for your Costco to have it because at this price, it's cheaper to buy it than make it. Ah, uh, let's see here. I always have a thing of prepared horseradish. This uh, company's great, Bubby's. This just adds a nice little spice to like marinades and uh, salad dressings. And I'm gonna, oh, oh, oh. Thank God that one's plastic. <laughs> I meant to do that. Nutso. So this is something they just sent me actually, Nutso. This is their chocolate power fuel. It's the only chocolate, uh, peanut butter or nut butter, I approve because, look at these ingredients, Art. They're not actually adding like Hershey's chocolate syrup. They're adding real chocolate, right? They're adding flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, and they're adding Celtic sea salt, really high quality salt. And there's only two grams of added sugar. It's the only chocolate peanut butter or nut butter on the market I would recommend. And see, so they, they were nice enough. They sent me that and check it out. They sent me a couple I've never seen before. This is, I guess it's new. It's not so keto. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's a little oily and bland. And I think that oil comes from the coconut, right? And this is the peanut pro. And I love, see, I'm, Art and I are on Team Crunch and we love stuff like sunflower seeds, flax seeds. They get stuck in your teeth, but I love them. So that's fantastic. And they also sent me really nice people. So like, I just tagged them on Instagram. I tag brands that are Bobby approved on Instagram. They don't pay me. They're not sponsored, but I want to just get the word out there and spread the love. And then they send me some product. It's so nice. So they have these brand new look art. Nutso bars. These are peanut, honey, and collagen. And this one is almond, mop, uh, maple, and matcha green tea. Um, flavor is good. They're a little too crumbly for me. So I've been crumbling them in my uh, breakfast cereal in the morning, my quinoa breakfast bowl, but they're a little too crumbly to take on the road. Uh, so they need to reformulate that. I'll, I'll talk to them. Um, up here also, this is I, my two favorite dairy-free yogurts. You're going to see that my fridge is mostly dairy-free. We don't eat much dairy at all at the home. We're actually pretty intolerant to dairy. So if we do, we eat organic grass-fed dairy. But uh, I do that mostly for recipe testing. Otherwise, this is the kind of yogurt I eat. This is lava. It's a paleo yogurt, and they're the only flavored yogurt that doesn't add any natural flavors or sugar. We've talked about this before in the grocery store. Look at these ingredients, you guys. Re get in there and read that coconut cream, real vanilla extract, plantains, peely nuts. Peely nuts are the highest fat, lowest carb nuts in the world, and lime juice. Their yogurts are a little on the acidic side, which I wish they would change, and this is a cashew-based yogurt. Always get plain for this one. Uh, it's okay to get the flavored one because they don't add sugar, otherwise the sugar kills the probiotic bacteria. So never get flavored yogurts because they're usually, usually using uh, natural flavors and the sugar kills the live and active uh, culture benefit. And then this company sent me this thing. It's basically, if you don't want to make or buy almond milk, it's called Just One Ingredient. It's an almond nut base. So I have cashew and almonds. And I didn't love it, but sometimes I run out of almond milk. You scoop a tablespoon or two of that into water and you blend it. It's not as good as homemade. And you guys know that we usually make homemade. So I usually, break out my almond cow. We don't have any right now. 
but right here, this guy, all right? This is how you make your homemade almond milk. We did a video with them recently, uh, but we go through it so quick. I don't have any right now, but that's a great way to make homemade almond milk. Um, I'll talk about that again in the future when they sponsor another video, but this is the one I use every day for my smoothies because that's premium almond milk. This is the one I want to use in my smoothies, organic, unsweetened. Uh, the one at Whole Foods is good, punching on the ingredients here. No natural flavors, not too many fillers. Uh, be careful because every vanilla flavored almond milk I see has natural flavor, so you don't want that. Oh, this company was nice enough. So we talked about these guys in the summer haul at Costco. It's kielbasa. It's organic, 100% grass-fed beef kielbasa. Unbelievable flavor. Look at the color, extra red. The part of that's from the smoking process, but because they're using really high quality pasture raised grass fed beef. Very cool. Okay, the bottom shelf is stacked. First of all, we have this. Looks like ricotta cheese, right? It's not ricotta made from milk, it's actually ricotta made from almonds, right? Here's an insider tip this is the Kite Hill almond milk ricotta. Some Costco's sell it in the bulk container at $12 a pound, which is expensive. Costco. I'm sorry, some Whole Foods. Thank you, Art. Art usually doesn't listen to me. Thank you, Art, for doing that. Um, this is actually a better deal because if you buy the prepackaged Kite Hill ones in the eight ounce tub, it comes out to $18 a pound, which is highway robbery. This one is only $12 a pound, which is expensive. But Amazon, one second, y'all. Yellow. Yes, UPS, I have a package requiring a signature. Ooh, signature, wow. That's what just came in the mail. I have to sign for it. What do you have to sign for? This, it's that keto sugar-free wine from Tuscany. Just got a big box of that. Gotta have some for the holidays. So I was talking about the almond milk ricotta. Best texture, best flavor for a alternative non-dairy ricotta. Just get the big package. The reason why Whole Foods always has this, they're an investor in Kite Hill and the cheesemonger told me that they always get shipments every month and it's not very popular and they oftentimes have to throw it away or give it away. And I kind of hinted to him, he can just give it to me, but he wasn't really having it. So this stuff is amazing, you guys. Next level. Give it away, give it away now to me. Homemade bone broth right here, Art, check it out. Close the fridge. We're making this on a weekly basis now because the winter is here. This is so good, not just for making soups and stews and chilies, but you guys, this bone broth right here is full of gelatin, collagen, and chondroitin. Everything good for your hair, skin, teeth, and nails. And perfect timing, not everyone has collagen-rich cheeks like Rose Honey, right? Daddy's 41 years old. He's uh, got to bolster up those supplements. So that's a great way to do it. Plus, we oftentimes talk about gut health and microbiome of your gut. That actually improves the gut bacteria and 80% of your uh, immune system's living cells are in your gut. So go to the Flav City Instagram, toggle over to bone broth. I have a recipe for how to make it. You should be drinking a cup of that every day with a pinch of unrefined pure salt. You're gonna love it. Just like I love you, Rose. By the way, if you're wondering why I keep my peanut butter in the fridge, this is a volatile uh, nut. It has essential oils that go rancid. Don't keep it in the pantry. As soon as you open it, you're supposed to store it in the fridge and it says on here, yeah, refrigerate after opening. So people often see this on my stories and they're wondering why. Keep it in the fridge, yo. Okay, the best pickles in all the land, Bubbies, right? Made in Canada. And why? I turn to the ingredients, Art, and I see there's no vinegar. Why? It's a natural fermentation. It takes longer. The flavor is better, but it goes back to gut health. This is loaded with probiotic bacteria that is so good for your tummy and your gut microbiome. Expensive, yes. They're from Canada, eh? Uh, speaking of Canada, I'm on a mission to get all these healthy products available in the UK and Canada. When I make these videos with Art, I always get comments from people in Canada saying, hey, we don't have half the stuff you have there. And if we do have it, it's twice or thrice the price. I don't understand that, especially Canada. You guys are right over the border. But at least you guys make the best fermented uh, cabbage and pickles. They are expensive, though. And then right behind it is my favorite store-bought salsa ever. Desi and I are huge Rick Bayless fans. And even though he sold to Conagra a long time ago, this flavor, you guys, the double roasted tomato, oh my God, it's smoky and roasty, so good. I always keep a thing of coconut cream in the fridge because if you want to make whipped coconut cream, uh, it's a great way to do it, but it has to be ice cold cream. 
We talked about this before. This is that keto and paleo bread from Base Culture. It's not exactly keto. It's about eight grams of carbs per serving, but the ingredients are fantastic, right? Look at these ingredients. This is the best paleo bread you can get. They're starting to carry it now at uh, Whole Foods, but Amazon still is the best place to get it. I'll put the link down below. Unbelievable woman-owned business. Very, very cool. Uh, so what's down here? Check it out, Art. This is a crazy, crazy drawer. So this is a company I'm working with and I'm gonna tell you more about lately. This is the first ever chocolate truffle that is sugar-free and keto approved. It's a cool startup in LA. Look at the ingredients here, you guys. It's real chocolate cream. I found out it's organic. They just didn't label it yet. This is the first prototype. MCTs, they use a combination of allulose, which is the most expensive uh, sugar-free alternative sweetener, erythritol and stevia, and some nootropics, which are um, brain supplements. I'll put the link down below. Uh, for the promo code. I'm going to be doing more stuff with these guys. They're the best sugar-free truffles ever. These guys are great. It's one of the only water companies that makes flavored water that isn't with natural flavors. The other one is Spindrift. Now look at this. Cold-pressed juice from real fruit and cold-pressed peel oils, not natural flavors. These guys are awesome. Uh, startup out of Elgin, Illinois. What up, Illinois? Uh, also down here are some Bulgarian walnuts that Desi's mom just sent us from Bulgaria. Not 100% sure that's legal. I'm counting on you guys not to tell anyone, but these are fresh walnuts that were harvested and cracked by her and her husband. Uh, I have the Costco wheel of Pecorino Romano cheese. I have the Costco organic uh, turkey breast. I love this. We love everything but the name, Plainville. Huh. Art and I crack up when we see that, but why do we love it? Because there's just a couple of ingredients, organic turkey and salt. No carrageenan, no phosphates, no fillers. It is best in class and it's $8 a pound at Costco. The Applegate Organic is $16 a pound. Loco en la cabeza. Uh, what else is down here? We have the cauliflower sandwich thins here. We talked about these in that Amazon haul. Cauliflower, Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, like one net carb per slice. Very, very tasty. Only available on Amazon. Some Whole Foods have them. All right, finishing up here really quick. This is my newest buy. Check it out. This is from Costco. It's bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. Listen to the sound the bottle makes, right? Shh. Right, it's so cool. I wish it was a better pour spout. It tends to leak all over the place, but the flavor is amazing. It's $15 and it's the real deal. Uh, if you're not doing my hack for herbs, when you get back from the store with fresh parsley, wash it and dry it. Cut about a half an inch off the bottom, put it in a mason jar or a glass, and then cover it again with the bag it came with from the store. It will last you 14 days, literally 14 days in the, in the fridge. Change the water like three or four days. It works for parsley and cilantro very well. Works for dill too. Uh, what else we got here? Kerrygold butter from Costco. Always get that. And then over here real quick, Art, I still have some the Kirkland maple syrup. I have this new uh, dairy-free vodka sauce and Alfredo sauce from Primal Kitchen, another company that sends me stuff once in a while. I don't think it's in grocery stores, but man, it is good stuff. The Alfredo is so tasty and as usual, best in class ingredients because it's Primal Kitchen. No filler, all thriller. And then to round it out, we have some Primal Kitchen unsweetened ketchup, some Tessame's ketchup sweetened with dates. This is the only sriracha I use now. I don't use the Hoi Fong one with the rooster because it has a lot of phosphates and really na nasty preservatives. These guys, I don't know if you can see it, the ingredients are really, really clean. Always a drop of sugar in here because they need that for the fermentation. Buy it at, uh, at Walmart, it's only $5. Uh, this is a more premium one. I just wanted to taste at Costco, at uh, Whole Foods, it was like $8. And, a little bit of coconut aminos just to play around with and some chili sesame oil. So that is it for the fridge. Do you guys want to see what's in the freezer? Because the freezer is crazy right now. We just got a shipment of some amazing beef. Let's just check it out. So I wish we had a second freezer, but right now we have... So this company was started by a Flav City fan. She sent me an email, said I actually motivated her to start the company, which was so flattering. It's 100% grass-fed 
carrot finished beef. They feed the beef cattle's carrot the last six months and it fattens them up and gives them nice marveling. We made this on a live stream with a filet and the cap of a ribeye. It was amazing. So I'm gonna get a promo code. Actually, there's a promo code. Flav City in the description box gets you, I think, 20% off. I would get the cap of the ribeye, grass fed, unbelievable. We did the butter based, remember that art on the live stream? Amazing. Then we have some bones for making bone broth here, grass fed. Look at this, I have goat ribs from that company. I have some wild scallops from Thrive Market. They now have seafood and stuff. I keep my frozen bananas here for my smoothies. I have beef liverwurst here, a great source of iron and uh, nutrients for uh, Desi because she has low iron. If you're low iron, eat beef and chicken liver. Look at this. They sent me so much of this. This is a great perk of my job. This is like, what, five pounds of grass-fed carrot-finished ground beef. I have a ton of stuff. The Costco organic ground turkey here. I have Thrive Market organic chicken breast. I ate the Thrive Market uh, pasture-fed, pasture-raised bacon, which is amazing. I'm going to try to get more of that for you guys. And then there's chicken here. Uh, this company sent me, this is the vegan cookie mix from Capello's. It's so expensive, but look at the ingredients here, you guys. Almond flour, coconut, I mean, maple syrup. It's vegan chocolate chip cookie dough. Unbelievable. Bunch of grass-fed beef here, some more Kerrygold, butcher box ground beef. And I think that's about it for the freezer. All right, you guys. Woo, it fits. You can see, I practice what I preach, right? I just wish we had a bigger house with a second fridge and freezer because I want to load up my stuff with way more frozen grass-fed beef and bones and all that stuff. So I hope you guys found some inspiration. If you want to see a follow-up, how about a pantry raid? What's in my pantry? Because Art, check it out. These pantries are stocked to the gills with tons of great stuff. So if you want to see about that, you let me know. We got a ton of stuff here where the shoes and uh, clothes should be. There's a bunch of powders and uh, proteins and stuff like that. So that is it, you guys. Like, subscribe, share, all those good things. Spread the love. The only way this channel grows is by you sharing and caring. Two more videos are below us right now. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, when say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.